<laughs> I get my angles. <laughs> yeah, um, you're good. It basically doesn't show too much. Okay, you're good. Good? Okay. So uh, the first archetype um, is the arm. So the arm has two joints. I'm going to refer to these so as the arm, the forearm, and then the wrist. So there's three joints to this. Um, the main arm is powered by a pneumatic cylinder. Uh, as you guys know, pneumatics have two, uh, two modes, on or off. So in its on mode, and with the arms and with the forearms straight down, it's going to be able to fit perfectly inside the box of the robot. Uh, and then the idea is, if the forearm extends all the way upwards, uh, it's able to score the high rung using a claw and manipulation from the wrist. Um, and then also with the main arm down and the forearm down, it's going to also be able to pick up from the floor. So um, that's our main. Uh, that's the main intake version from the. Uh, from this arm version. It's gonna be able to pick up from the ground. Uh, it's gonna be, due to its claw design, which I'll get into in a second, it's gonna be able to pick up both algae and uh, coral from the floor, uh, and then manipulate that uh, around to score in any of the troughs, uh, or in any of the rungs on the uh, reef. So, um, for more robustness, what we can do is we can have two arms like this that are connected by, by kind of X's. Um, and that, that should add a little bit of robustness and help it out. Uh, there's gonna be three motors uh, that are not, not including the drivetrain. There's one that powers the forearm. Uh, kind of what I'm thinking is there's gonna, the motor is gonna be actually down here and then there's a belt system that powers this up here. And then there's one, probably a Neo 550, that's powering the wrist and then one powering the claw. Um, okay, so to the claw. The claw has four main mandrels that it uses to pick up both the coral and the algae. So it has smaller mandrels that are able to close, uh, that are able to close collectively around the uh, coral. Um, and then the larger mandrels are kind of backwards on the outside. So um, the smaller mandrels can kind of close inside into the claw because the claw is going to be hollow. Um, and then the outer mandrels are going to be able to kind of move up uh, because these mandrels are so much larger, they're going to be able to pick up the algae. Um, I imagine these will probably be like some sort of flexible-ish material, so there's good compliance. Um, that's it. So also, this will be able to kind of move up and knock out algae from the reef, uh, which will free up space to, which will free up space for coral. And then there's also going to be a lot of space in the back here, which we'll need for a compressor uh, and electronics uh, because you know pneumatics and such. Um, I guess, yeah, it's also really good at climbing, uh, theoretically, at least. Um, it's going to be able to grab on to the kind of the top shelf of the lower area uh, and then kind of lever itself down so it can climb up, um, which should give us a lot of points. And yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah. Does the, um, when the arm swings up from ground pick up to the top, can we do feedback after we're done filming here? Yeah, we'll do, we can do feedback, we can film both, both presentations. Sure. And then do feedback at the very end before we vote. Okay. Sorry. Awesome. Yeah, continue. So our second architect is going to be the tank design. Um, Name that because it's a lot more structurally rigorous. It's basically just a big box. Uh, the idea is that we have some sort of active intake on the front that feeds balls in to the middle, and then that can be stored into the human players scoring things with the balls. Or we have the, um, an arm that extends upwards to knock balls off of the reef instead of like trying to grab them, we just make them fall off basically. And then they can fall either into a funnel, which goes into the same area to be stored into the human area, or it can fall on the floor, which then we can use the active intake to collect. So this is focusing a lot more on scoring the balls quickly and efficiently. And then this arm here can you can be knocking them off, but also some, some sort of like coral scoring mechanism. Um, a lot of options for that, we can also do something similar to the grabber design. It doesn't. I think the, what hap what's happening at the end of here doesn't matter as long as we can knock the balls off. Um, and then if we want to be launching, we could theoretically talk, we've talked about having cool ideas for launching where it comes in and then this fly goes up here that then it goes back into to launch it into the net, which I don't know. But um, basically this whole thing is all about collecting the balls quickly and shooting them right out directly into the ball scoring area. And yeah, the scoring coral net, I don't know. We'll also talk about that actually. <laughs>